The Brookline Police Department has a long history of working with the Brookline Housing Authority and their residents. Since 1992, the Walk and Talk program has been a BHA BPD partnership in which officers are assigned as liaisons to BHA and work to establish relationships and assist residents and staff with problem solving, quality of life issues, and to promote safety and wellness. The Walk and Talk unit consists of three highly trained and dedicated officers serving all 10 Brookline Housing Authority properties and approximately 2,500 residents. Hi, my name is Officer David Pilgrim. I grew up in Brookline and I attended Brookline High School. At an early age, my parents encouraged me to give back to my community. This led to me becoming a Brookline police officer where I've served for the last four years. In that time, I've been able to give back to the community more than I ever imagined I'd be able to, especially so in these last two months when I was assigned to the Walk and Talk unit. My name is Kristen Healy. I've been a police officer here for 10 years. I grew up in the town, went to the Lincoln School, I graduated from Brookline High School. Growing up, I worked for the Brookline Recreation Department. I ran summer camps, I ran after school programs and programs on the weekend. Being part of that made me really want to be part of Walk and Talk. Hi, my name is Detective Michelle Lawler. I've been with the Brookline Police Department for eight years. Five of those years, I was assigned to the Walk and Talk unit and currently assigned to the Detective Division. I'm Officer Patah Johnson. I've been working in the Brookline Police Department for a couple months now. I'm currently assigned to the patrol division. Hello, my name is Officer Timothy Stevenson. I've been a Brookline police officer for the last approximately 25 years and a member of the Walk and Talk unit for approximately 17 of those 25 years. To many in the community, I'm known as Officer Tim, Coach Tim, or simply just Tim. As the officers assigned to the Walk and Talk unit, we act as liaisons between Brookline Housing Authority and the police department. Our goal is to be as approachable as possible to the residents by being highly visible in the community. We are each passionate in our role in the Brookline housing community and enjoy being able to go the extra mile and achieve things the standard patrol officer doesn't have time to do. We get to know residents on a first name basis and develop a level of comfort that will hopefully result in more trust being built between the community and the police. Over the years, many officers in the unit and residents have developed strong bonds. So it affords us the opportunity to do more one-on-one -on -one time, more personal time. It's about breaking down the walls, building relationships, letting them, the people who live in the, in the housing developments, see us for more than just a cop with a badge and a gun and a uniform, and to see us as a human being, and for us to see them as human beings also. Like, as a kid, I grew up in housing, for the amount of years, from what the experiences that I embraced being with the walk and talk was friendship. And when I say that, it's because to this day, the officers that I met when I was about five years old are the, still my friends to this day. We also take part in various youth activities around town, including running the Police Youth Basketball League at the Teen Center, coaching football teams, and collaborative efforts with the Juvenile Probation Department. We also continued our role in coordinating in the department's juvenile justice program. Since its inception, the program has had approximately 22 youths referred to it in lieu of going to court. In that time, 13 youths have successfully completed the program. We also work alongside the Brookline Rec Therapy Program, having dinner on Wednesday nights and encouraging athletes who are participating in the Special Olympics. Most recently, we held a food drive for the Brookline Food Pantry and had ice cream while getting to know kids at both Egmont and High Street. These kids know the walk and talk officers by first name and they won't hesitate to call if they need anything and you really build like a sense of trust and you know commitment between one another that they might not be able to experience. So I remember one day my wife and I were shopping in local stores and this young man came up to us and I recognized him, he'd grown up in one of, the, one of the housing developments here in the town. And he said, I just want to say thank you to you, Tim. And I said, for what? And he said, I just, you were a role model that I needed when I was growing up. And you helped me to put my life on a track that led me to where I am now and a better path than I was leading when I was younger. Um, and then he turned to my wife and said to my wife, I just want to let you know you have a great man here for a husband. Um, one thing about Walk and Talk unit is that they never, they never came with us with authority of just showing that they were just law enforcement. 
They always were there to help us, to show us exactly what we can do and what we should not do. They weren't there to see us get in trouble. They were there to kind of be like our helping hand, and that's what we needed. We needed to be able to know from the lessons that we were taught and learn from the mistakes that we made and be able to gravitate and really build off that and become someone positive and, and know better and learn. But one thing that I do remember is I remember officers that are highly good people to this day would always come around and just embrace us, show us love, to see what we were up to, play basketball, play games with us, have conversations. Those are the things that we wanted and that we needed because again, this is law enforcement. We never expected law enforcement to enter in the high street and to really embrace us. We, we thought they would stay out. But these officers always showed themselves. The Walk and Talk unit always showed themselves. Whether they were busy, whether they were on break, they always just came to see us and show us love. And those are officers and people that I will never forget. You know, people many times over the years have asked me, why did I become a police officer? Why did I take this job? And I tell them, it's it really pretty simple. I said, I never came into this job with the idea that I could save the world. But my idea was always, if I can make my little corner of it that a little bit better, then it's a success. And so far for, as I said, almost 25 years, I think my career has been a success. This is just a small sample of the work we do for the citizens of Brookline. We look forward to continuing our relationship with the community living within the BHA.